So right here we have some of this kind of pink yarrow right next to some of the white yarrow. Here it's going to be coming into flower. There's purple clover, buttercup, all along here. A series of different grasses. More yarrow, white yarrow. There's the lime tree. And then over here, we have loads more yarrow. This is sheep's parsley instead of cow parsley. This is the later seasonal parsley, wild parsley or carrot family. There's, here's some uh, ladies bed straw. Here's one of the hawkweed dandelion family. Coming along here, there's loads of the small hawkweed, you can see. And more varieties of grasses. You can see the different kinds of seed heads for the different kinds of grasses. So that's one, two, three, four. This one's very fluffy. And five. And that's just in that small area. And come a little further along here. And yeah, there's a few thistles. You can see where I grazed the horses. It's getting longer and longer over there. And you can see where the horses urinated. Those tufts are the urinated spots where the horses were grazing and urinating. Then along here, there's, I had a whole bunch of, um, oh, here it is down here. There's some thistles, more varieties of grasses. I'm using this as there's some bird's foot trefoil right there. More bird's foot trefoil here. So this is another seed bank that I've been developing over the years. Here's more purple clover. Here are bigger dandelion hawkweeds. Ah. And it looks like the wasp nest has come back again. That's a wasp nest in there. I won't hang around very long. Here's loads more bird's foot trefoil, purple clover, more of the hawkweed dandelion, another variety of grass here. So my seed bank here is doing real. Oh, look, a bit of. Um, Devil's bit, scabious, one of the scabious family. Uh, that's called devil's bit, and it just comes up and just has the small flower at the top. Butterflies love it. It's actually early. This is early this year, like the buddleia. Here's more ladies' bed straw, more dandelions, more sheep's parsley, then the other lime tree. Then over here, you can see in the field, the beautiful, beautiful blue. There. Over there. And some beech trees. More cow parsley over here. So always trying to keep diversifying the different seed heads. This is Co uh, coxfoot or orchard grass. So I'm using my, the, our driveway as also a seed bank. Oh look, this is a different, this is a scabies, this is a different scabies. So that's one kind. You can see how the seed head is different. And then this is, no, is another one. This is devil's bit. So the varieties are growing and growing every year along this driveway. When I came home, it was just ryegrass, nettles, and thistles. And 
Here you can see this is one of the wild geraniums and the seeds spreading of the, the um, uh, bird's foot trefoil. So there are some of the seeds. So yeah, when I came home, a lot of these species weren't here anymore. Or they were only on places up around the house that were overgrown. So I've slowly over the past 20 years been spreading the seeds, spreading the biodiversity love. Look, here's another grass, kind of grass. It's the colors are fantastic in all the different kinds of grass seed heads. Anyway, that's me rabbiting on. And in there, there's clovers and purple clover or red clovers, white clovers, buttercups, some more of the, um, they're spreading from the sides of the driveway into the field. There's some of the hawkweeds, more of the hawkweeds in there, loads of hawkweeds. So it's spreading it as much as one can. Oh, look, some oxide daisies right there. When I came home, there were very few oxide daisies. Now there's loads. So that's enough of me rabbiting on about biodiversity and how I've been doing it over the last number of years.